Now at 11, without any tackle football this fall, many quarterbacks have been looking for a place to work on their techniques and on their skills. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mark Robbins found a camp where some of the best are honing their skills with a very special coach. They're coming from all over New England, mostly high school, some junior high kids, with the idea of becoming a better passer, runner, an overall quarterback. He's really helped me a lot with my footwork and my throwing mechanics like tremendously. You know, since fifth grade, like I've improved like like amazingly. Craig Bryden runs this camp. He expanded his coaching efforts after he began tutoring his son, now a Bloomfield star, Darren. And this all started when Darren was five years old. Greg's been working on this, coaching these kids for a long time. He's developed a pattern, a routine that helps him get through all the obstacles that he may face. Obstacles? Oh yeah, did I forget to mention? Craig is deaf. A good friend of mine told me why not I should be a quarterback coach because I trained my son. So I never thought about that. So the more I thought about it, I decided to give a try. And trying is all Craig has ever asked of his students because that's all Craig has ever done. He spent years learning the skills and responsibility a quarterback must have. When I was training my son, I took him everywhere. I took him to Texas, Florida, North Carolina. I took him everywhere. So that was one part of the equation. The other part, being able to share his knowledge with his players, to kids that didn't have much experience communicating with someone who was deaf. When they first meet me, they get nervous because they're not sure they can communicate with me. But I told them that, don't worry, the more you communicate with me, you'll be fine. I read your name. He's a visual teacher, so like you have to watch his body movements to learn from him. Like that's that's his thing. There's no one else in the country that does what he does. Um, and I just think like all the hours he puts into studying and watching videos, watching film and correlating to our workouts, it just makes us better every time we come out. Nowadays, Craig gets requests from all over. He's helped kids get scholarship at Division I and Division II colleges. The pandemic has actually given Craig more students than usual. And for him, that provides more opportunity to make a difference, to show kids it takes more than just physical skills to become a player. He leads by example and with I'd say his character for sure. Um, he, you know, with his situation being deaf and, uh, you know, that boundary or, you know, that adversity that he has to deal with every day, um, kind of just making it so, you know, everyone has their own problems, but it's about how you're going to attack the day and how you're going to handle certain situations and go about yourself. So he definitely taught me a lot. Every time kids come in, I try to give them passions about life. Don't worry about the neck and what's going on in the world. And then enjoy and be with the family, you know, because all the quarterbacks know each other. And that family that Craig coaches will continue to churn out quarterbacks that will make people proud. In Enfield, Mark Robbins, Channel 3, Eyewitness Sports.